What's up, my fans? It's Monday in the Pacific Ocean right now. That means one thing. We gotta gear up for another look at my sack. My mail sack. Each week leading up to a repetitive Triple THS on Wednesday, you give me your questions, and in return, I take a small piece of your soul that I keep in a jar. Then one of the soulless monsters chosen for the show is randomly selected to get this Triple THS t-shirt. Pretty neat, huh? Let's do this shit! Call me Zerk! At Danielle's Twits. Alpha male is 8-0 in 2013. Can you give any reason to why this is? I don't know what they're putting in the sippy cups at that place, but whatever the hell it is, it's working. David Wilkinson. If you lit both ends of the Yosemite Sam ref's beard like fuse. What would happen when the fire reached his nose? I suppose his nose would be burned severely, David, and there would be horrible smell in the air from the burnt facial hair, and he would be very, very sad that his awesome mustache is now gone. I hope you're happy, David. You just made Mike Beltran sad. Balthazar Shepard. How long will the lightweight title be marred in split decisions? Until 2052? 2187? At least until 3000. Then we'll get some time that will just be unanimous decisions, then a period that goes back to splits, then... Then the sun expands into a red giant, and the earth turns into an uninhabitable hell that you can't even fathom. The oceans will dry up, the solar radiation will take care of the rest. The Earth will become molting again. Whatever humans are left will have moved further out into the solar system in hopes that one of the formerly cold and icy worlds in the distant galaxy are somehow now habitable. They'll start civilization over and begin holding fights on floating barges covered in wired fencing. That's when we'll finally get a lightweight title bout that ends with a KO or a sub. Andrew McCart. What would happen if there was no moon? Well, I guess there wouldn't be any lunar tides anymore, would there? I don't know what the fuck those do for us, but that shit can't be good. It would be harder to see at night, I guess. Michael Jackson would never do the moonwalk. Neil Armstrong would have been a stripper. That's pretty much it. Oh, and no werewolves. So that's a plus. Us. Fuck werewolves. Doc Holiday. I had the winning question for you, but watched another episode of Triple THS and forgot my question. What does this mean? Doc, you've actually sent me this same question over and over for the last 47 years. Every day you wake up and your family tries to explain to you that Tommy Toehold doesn't exist. He died 30 years ago when his bicycle was crushed by a massive crate of marshmallows. He only exists in our hearts. I'll see you again tomorrow, Doc. Patrick King. Do you have any tattoos like other cartoon characters? Mumra, Popeye, Rainbow Bright, and Zartan? If so, show us what you have. Patrick, I do have a tattoo. Got really drunk one night. Luckily, it's not anywhere people can see, but I've regretted it ever since the morning I woke up and saw it. I'm not gonna let you see where it's at, but I'll give you a nice tight shot of it so you can share in my embarrassment. Fucking Seagal, man. Sean Shahan. Do you like toast? Sean, I don't know if you're setting me up for a joke or if you genuinely are interested in whether or not I enjoy toast. So I'm gonna assume the latter. Toast is not anything anybody really wants. It's something we settle for. We say, shit, that's nowhere near enough lucky charms for the kind of morning I'm having. I guess I'll just have some fucking toast. Nobody has ever said, you know what I'm in the mood for? Some dry, bland bread with a little bit of butter on it for flavor. You usually end up saying, fuck, I guess if that's all you got, I'll have some toast. It's the ugly friend of food. You never wanted it really. Just gotta eat something. Sensei Leonelli. If you had a UFC bout, what would your walkout music be? I've actually actually discussed this on the show before, and my old answer was the X-Men theme with Wolverine on guitar, but I can't do that every time, people will get bored with it. So for my second UFC fight, I'm walking down to Come Through My Window by Melissa Etheridge, and I'm wearing a giant elephant snout on my face. Why? Because it makes no fucking sense, and by the time my opponent wraps his head around what the fuck just happened, I've already knocked his ass out with a right hook to the dome. Nathan Court. In an alternate world where Clay Guida didn't move, and Nate Diaz hated Stockton, would the Ultimate Warrior run the UFC? I look above to the gods! I saw a tree. A tree filled with galaxies! And in those galaxies, the power of the warrior was running through an electrical box! Along the fault lines of the shoeless burger. And when all the unpleasantries of the gods of Eddie Murphy, the warrior will always prevail! So, the card is scheduled for July 9th? T-shirt time! Each week, one of the chosen questioners is picked at random to receive a free Triple THS t-shirt. This week's winner is Robert Eaton, who said, Dude, you got a problem with me? You're always mean mugging me like you got a problem. Do I need to make an avatar of myself so we can handle this like cartoon men? Maybe we should step outside, Robert. Now that we're out here, let's settle our differences like real cartoon men. With ridiculous violence that doesn't actually hurt anyone, and leaves massive hematomas followed quickly by birds floating around our heads. Yeah, you don't want no part of that. That's show fight fans! If you want a badass Tommy Toehold shirt like Robert, head to TripleTHS.com to pick up your very own. If I didn't answer your question, I did at least read it, so that's something there, right? Tune in this Wednesday for an all-new Triple THS that will have more laughs than a funeral. See you Wednesday, guys!